Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sydney and I am back with a Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette tutorial and review. I was so excited for this palette to come out. I think it is a really nice color selection, a good price range, and I love Jaclyn so it is really nice to just see how she put this together and how she put all of her heart and soul into it. And if you guys want to see what I think of the palette and see how the shadows perform, keep on watching. A quick warning, it is the 4th of July weekend and I am filming at like 9.30 so there are lots of fireworks in the background and I'm so sorry for any of that noise. This palette has 35 eyeshadows and it retails for $38. The packaging is cardboard and it is this white color with pretty silver writing and I'm happy with the packaging. I think it's sturdy and I don't think my eyeshadows are in danger. The only thing is the white packaging will get very dirty and it, it already has like some marks and stuff just from having it for like a week. So I know by the end like if I hit pan on any of these my it'll probably look disgusting at that point. But that's not a big deal. I mean it doesn't change the quality of the eyeshadows at all. So here's the inside. It has a message from Jacqueline and all of the beautiful shadows. Um, the only drawback I can think of is really not having a mirror because this has every color I think I would need if I went on vacation or I went to an event or something like that, but there's no mirror which is kind of inconvenient, but of course I can find smaller mirrors and like bronzers and such, but it would be very nice if this had a mirror. I think the shadow quality is really really good. It is definitely better than the other Morphe shadows and I know that was a very big selling point was that she completely redid the formula and all of each shadow is pressed specifically to make that shadow as best as possible. So I really can tell that the quality is definitely there and for $38 I think that is an amazing deal considering some of the other eyeshadow pads I have are like $50 and I would say this quality is definitely up there if not better on some of the shimmers and I think it is totally worth it. It is a great color selection. I think it would work on a lot of skin tones. It has warms, it has cools, it has pops of color, it has neutral tones and yeah I just really like it. I think the best thing I can think of about this palette is that I'm comfortable using it because of all the neutrals, but it has definitely pushed me to step out of my comfort zone with makeup, which is something I'm always trying to do, but I have a hard time doing. So these colors down here are definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone, and I really, really like them. So yeah, now let's get on to the tutorial. We are just doing the eyes today because it is all about the palette. So I'm first starting with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. The only other thing I can think of is that the shadows are not labeled on here, which makes my life a little difficult, so I have to keep referring to this little sheet. So the first color I'm using is the very first color in the palette right here. It is called In Light, and I'm just using that to set my um, eye base. And you can already tell. Do you see how pigment that is? I just like barely dipped it in and we already have a lot of um, color payoff. Now I'm going to go in with this big crease brush and I'm going to take the color Creamsicle which is this kind of mustardy orange and I'm just going to put that in my crease. On that same brush, I'm going to take the color Butter, which is right next to it. So I'm going to put this in the crease as well and just really warm it up. Now I'm going to take a more precise brush and go in with the color Rocks Ann, which is this orange. And I'm just going to put this um, in my crease and make it a little bit more defined. You can see that that color is really pigmented, but it just blends out so flawlessly. And the mattes in this palette are really, really nice. On my um, Morphe 35O palette, I would say that the mattes were a little bit chalky, but I do not think these mattes have any problems. They're really, really nice. And now I'm going to go in with like a little bullet crease brush and go in with this color right here, which is Hunt's. And I'm just going to put that right in my crease. And 
Then I'm going to go back in with that big crease brush and go in with the color Butter. And just blend over everything. Alright, now what we are going to add some color. For the pop of color, I'm going to be using the color Pool Party, which is right here. It is super shimmery and gorgeous, and I'm just going to be using a flat brush. And this color packs a pretty good punch without, um, what's the word, like a fix plus or something. I can show you. This is a dry swatch. That is 100% dry. I didn't put anything on my brush. But um, I'm still going to use um, fix plus just to prevent some of the fallout. But honestly, the color really doesn't need it to make it any more vibrant. Like, as a dry swatch, that is really, really, really good. Look at that. I'm so impressed. Oh, look at that. If we do it again, it still is really, really strong. Very impressed with the shimmers. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus on my brush and dip into Pool Party. And I'm going to apply this on my lid, focusing it on the inner two-thirds, I guess. And I'm really carving out my crease and making a harsh line on the inner half of my lid. And now to kind of blend this brown with the light blue, I'm going to take this color right here, which is a really pretty shimmery um, greenish color, and that is Diva. And I'm just going to take that on the same brush. And I'm not using any Fix Plus with this one. And I'm just going to put it right on the outer corner. You see how that just adds more dimension? That is just so pigmented. Doesn't that create a really nice gradient effect? I just think it looks so pretty. And then I'm going to take this neutral brown right here. That is the color Buns. I'm only blending the outer corner. I'm still leaving the inner corner very harsh. And then I'm going in with this more precise brush. And I'm going to take this color right here, which is a warmer chocolate. And that is the color Chip. And I'm just going to blend out the outer corner and smoke it out. Now I'm going to take a precise angled brush and the beautiful color Jada, which is right here. It is like a matte turquoise color. And I'm just going to get some of that on my brush and I'm going to press this into my lower lash line. Then I'm actually going to take a clean brush and just blend this out. And then I'm just going to tap into butter right here on a pencil brush and just barely smoke out the edges. I just want to bring a little bit of that warmth onto the lower lash line. To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use the color Obsessed, which is right here. And this color is so, so bright, and it is wonderful for the inner corner. I really think she nailed this inner corner highlight. And then I'm also going to take a little bit of that under my brow bone. Now I'm going to apply a thin line of eyeliner. And I'm actually going to take that into a small wing. Let's pretend like I didn't just make that wing gigantic and then had to get rid of like half of it. So we're just going to put some concealer right there to clean up that edge. Now I'm going to apply some mascara.
And before I put false lashes on, I'm just going to dip into pool party again and put this right here in the inner part of my eye. And now I'm going to apply some lashes and I'll be back in a second. Now I'm quickly going to finish up the rest of the face and since this is an eye focused makeup tutorial, I'm just going to speed through this step and I will be back when the look is all finished. For my lips, I've been doing this lately. I'm taking like a dark brown um, lip liner. This is my NYX lip liner in Nutmeg. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips. And I'm gonna really rub my lips together to make sure it's nice and blended. And then I'm going to take a NYX Butter Gloss and just put this right on top. And I kind of think of that as like lip contouring. I feel like it makes my lips look really nice and plump, but there isn't like a very distinct color to it. It's just really glossy. All right, so that is it for my review and tutorial of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of this look below. Let me know what you guys think of the palette and all that. And hopefully I will see you guys next week. Bye.